next session on know how series this video is about the past transistor logic based full ladder design in the previous two videos we have seen the full ladder design using static cmos design and transmission gate approach the video links are shared in the description box below kindly refer those videos for understanding the basic implementation of full ladder using static cmos and transmission gate approach fast transistor logic can be implemented using either nmos or pmos transistors they can be used to pass logic 1 or logic 0 voltages however they behave differently while passing a 1 or 0 level signal a separate video on fast transistor logic and a design of any complex function using fast transistor is shared in the description box below please do watch those videos to have a better understanding on the basics of fast transistor logic and the major advantage of a fast transistor based logic is that it requires a few number of transistors when compared to the static cmos design further we will concentrate also on the complementary fast transistor logic which is a differential fast transistor logic family used for high performance design in the first part of the video we will just try to derive the expressions for sum and carry out for both these logics and then in the second part of the video we will continue the exact circuit diagram for the implementation of full ladder using fast transistor logic and complementary fast transistor logic for the fast transistor logic based full ladder implementation we are going to purely concentrate only on nmos fast transistor implementation and here you can see the boolean expressions for sum and carry out which are general expressions which are reduced from the kmap technique so the sum expression is going to be ax or bx or carry input and carry output expression is going to be ab plus bci plus aci this we can group it and we can write it as ab plus ci into a plus b and we also know that a plus b is also equivalent to a x or b this validation i have given in the previous video on full ladder implementation using transmission gate so those who have to understand about how a plus b is equivalent to a x or b you can just refer that video the video link is shared in the description box below now let us move on for the reorientation of this sum and carry out expressions for the convenience of implementing using fast transistor logic based design for the implementation of full ladder using fast transistor logic we have taken the very familiar expression for sum which is a b c i plus a bar b bar c i plus a b bar c i bar plus a bar b c i bar this is the expression that we have derived from the kma production technique which we have used in the past two videos on full ladder based design of transmission gate and static cmos design here we take ci as a common parameter therefore we get ci into ab plus a bar b bar and for these two expressions i have taken ci bar as common and therefore we get ab bar plus a bar b and we know that ab plus a bar b bar is equal into a x nor b and ab bar plus a bar b is equal into a x or b and i equate x equal to a x or b and x bar equal to a x nor b and therefore my equation is rewritten as ci dot x bar plus ci bar dot x and the final expression becomes x x or ci that x is equal to a x or b and therefore the sum is equal to a x or b x or ci now we will finally use the sum expression as x x or ci to implement using fast transistor logic before that we need to obviously implement for x where x is equal to a x or b and sometimes we also require x bar because when we expand x x or ci we have x bar dot ci plus ci bar dot x so we always require x bar also so we need to also implement a x nor b similarly if we use the complementary pass transistor logic which means i'm talking about cpl logic when we try to implement the same full ladder using cpl logic we just require one more complementary output which is s bar so what will be s bar is it will be exactly opposite to s where s is x x or ci and therefore s bar which means sum a bar will become x x nor ci so therefore here also we will be using x ci plus 
x bar c i bar so therefore here also we require x and x bar so it is actually very simple when we have completed the implementation of a x or b and a x nor b we can just right away use two more extra transistors for getting yes and s bar now we will move on for our carry out discussion so for the carry out expression i have just given the two table of the full ladder because i am going to use a different approach for implementing the carry out expression using pass transistor logic because we are not only bothered on implementing only using pass transistor logic we should also understand at the same time how to implement the same carry out expression using cpl logic also so for cpl logic it is very simple we just need a complementary output suppose if we require c out for ptl logic we require c out bar for implementing cpl logic so in that mode i am going to reorient the carry out expression by looking into the two table i am going to do a small analysis and then write down the final expression for carry out that is not going to be very different it is going to be the same thing but i will let you know how to calculate the output expression for c out bar also which means the complement of carry out so that will help us in implementing the full ladder design using cpl logic now i will start with a very basic expression that we all know as c not is equal to ab plus ci into a plus b because from the kma production we would have understood that c not is equal to ab plus bci plus aci so here i have grouped ci as common and i have written it as ab plus ci into a plus b now apart from this how do we arrive at this particular equation as we can see here in the truth table like for what are all the input combinations i am going to get my carry out as one so that majority get combinations i'm going to write here and from that i'm going to write a different equation and i will let you know what is the final expression that i'm going to obtain for carry out so now we will start writing the equations from the truth table so let us see for what are all the input combinations i'm going to get my c not equal to 1 so which means i can see here for 3 5 6 and 7 i am going to get my c not as 1 so therefore if i start writing the expression for each of these 3 5 6 and 7 i'll be getting 0 double 1 so i can write it as a bar b c i plus then i have 1 not 1 so it is a b bar c i then 6 is double 1 0 it is a b c i bar Plus seven is triple one, so it will be a b c i. Now from these two expressions, I have c i as common, so therefore the remaining thing is a bar b plus a b bar, which is a x or b. And from the remaining two expressions, I have a b as common, so I will write it as c i bar plus c i. And we know that since c i bar plus c i is equal to one. i am going to reduce this expression as ci into a x or b plus ab because ci bar plus ci is 1 so if i rewrite it this will be ab plus ci into a x or b and this is what i told previously that we know that ab plus ci into a plus b and i have already told that we can equate a plus b as equivalent to a x or b and that's the expression that we have obtained from the two table so this is the final expression that i'm going to implement using ptl logic which is c not equal to a b plus c i into a b bar plus a bar b now we can take just the complement of c not and try to implement using cpl logic so in the same time we are getting both the logics implemented for the full ladder design to get the complement of c not let us not just complicate the process by applying a overall complement and applying de morgan's law let us not do that rather 
we can use the same two table and find out the minority outputs for what are all the input combinations i am going to get zero so that's the reason here i have used the two table to get the expression for c not and the same thing i'm going to apply for getting my c not complement also so now let us see for what are all the input combinations i'm going to get zero it will be zero one two and four and i can write the expression for c not complement as for zero it is zero 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 you can see here for this and for this one and therefore i can write it as a bar b bar c i bar plus for one i can write it as a bar b bar c i plus zero one zero we can write it as a bar b c i bar plus 100 we can write it as a b bar and c i bar so now again just group the terms a bar b bar is common in the first two expressions therefore this we can rewrite it as c i bar plus c i plus c i bar is common and therefore this will be a bar b plus a b bar and we also know that c i bar plus c i is equal to 1 therefore c naught bar is going to be equivalent to a bar b bar plus c i bar into a bar b plus a b bar now just look at both the expressions of c naught and c naught complement they vary only in two terms instead of a b i have your a bar b bar and instead of c i i have your c i bar the other terms remains the same so it is very simple that if we implement one expression we can straight away get the complement of that particular expression also now here we have come to the end of the first part of the video on ptl and cpl based for ladder design in this video we have seen how to derive the expressions for sum sum complement carry out and carry out complement for implementing all these expressions in ptl and cpl logic let us see the exact design of ptl and cpl based full ladder in the second part of the video until then thank you all for watching this video through electronics insight channel